We're in the actuator test department today. I'd like to demonstrate a new switch that we're introducing. It's part of the M50 family. It's an addition, and it's a switch that comes with IO link capability. Before I demonstrate this though, I'd just like to show how a standard solid state switch is typically fitted onto a cylinder. So we slide it into the groove on the profile barrel, slide the switch along until it reaches the position of the magnet, at which point an LED comes on. Typically a mark is made on the barrel to indicate that first switch in position. Continue to move the switch until the yellow LED signal is lost. A second mark is made on the barrel and then the switch is pulled back and is locked off and the installer is happy that that is the optimum switch position. With our new M50 switch we have a visual indicator that helps with this process. First thing I'd mention is this switch, when powered, has a green LED to indicate that the switch is ready for operation. So as before, we slide the switch along and as we get towards the position of the magnet, a yellow LED will begin to flicker to indicate that we're at the edge of the switching bandwidth. Moving the switch a little bit further, that's, that light will now go solid to indicate that we're in the optimum switch position. That can now be locked off and we'll get a good signal. So there are two benefits with this switch. The first is we have a green LED to indicate that the switch is powered and ready for operation. And secondly, we have a yellow visual indicator that tells us that the switch is in the optimum position for sensing, but also it enables the installer to fit the switch much more quickly than the traditional solid state switch. Mm -hmm.